Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another Spirit Pick Me Up reading. So this is going to be an extended Spirit Pick Me Up reading with all the Free Spirit cards. Um, we're going to dive into the Natural Oracle for Life for direct spirit messages about our mind, body, spirit for the journey that we find ourselves on right now. What would be helpful to keep in mind. Then we're going to tap into Real Divine Self Care, which has been coming up a lot to be on your own side and really take Real Divine Self Care of yourself. We're going to tap into Real Divine Abundance and what we can do to stay connected to real divine abundance in all forms what is in our divine power and then we're going to top it off with divine spirit messages for our divine spirit from divine spirit and we're going to get pure love from spirit from loved ones passed on our spirit guides just pure love um so whatever they want to bring forth is what they want to bring forth and these readings are for any time and i put them all in a separate playlist from now on using these decks so it's from whenever you find the video. Um, I trust spirit guides you at the right time. So this is going to be for a mind, body, spirit. Wow, they're like already ready, I feel. Um, just breathe out all the stress, everything you've been thinking about. Just let it go and get ready to receive messages for your mind, body, spirit, from spirit. Let's see what messages want to come forth for us to keep in our minds and hearts to the journey for right now that we find ourselves on one more time. What are the messages for our mind, body, spirit that would be helpful for our mind, body, spirit? Okay. What are the messages for our mind, body, spirit at this time? Tapping into spirit for our spirit. For the spirit picking up what you would keep in mind that would be helpful. What clear messages would be helpful for our mind, body, spirit for the journey? Ooh, that almost fell out. Okay. Wow. We're getting two right away. Oh my gosh, I love this card so much. It's united forever. This is with your spirit guides, your angels, archangels, loved ones passed on. Um, you're forever united with spirit. And this has been coming over and over again to feel even that, even more strongly that connection that you're forever united. You're united forever with loved ones passed on especially and your spirit guides and you are forever united with those that have passed on and with spirits unseen. Feel united with them wherever you go. They are there and will show you signs along the way. And I have chills because as I'm reading this card, this was a picture I took when um, the airplanes wrote that in the sky, United, which was such a bizarre thing. And it was in a moment I had... Um, I, I was walking down the streets in the city and I was just having the worst day possible. And then I just felt a wave of um, love and I looked up and there was United and I took a picture because I felt the presence of spirit in that moment. Like I'm not alone. And I looked up and there was United. So that's the story behind this card. And when I'm reading you this message, I hear an airplane go over um, as I was reading that and I had goosebumps. So I was really distracted reading that message to you because there could be real signs, symbols, messages coming through really strongly now especially during this time because they know we need it and it could be in the form of anything and everything um a lot of things I love to do especially when I'm feeling like I, I need to be fed I was finding this today when I was out um I was anything that caught my eye had like a double meaning to me it could be anything but allow yourself to get fed sometimes just let yourself be so open and let whatever catches your eyes and ears say spirit give me signs messages uh today that i can hear or see and just receive be in receive mode and you'll see things it could be something so um so innocent almost like it was the writing on a car it caught my attention um there was another thing i think it was graffiti that i saw that you know whatever it is allow it to feed you i'm just saying this it could be lyrics in a song it could be seeing their name somewhere it could come in all forms i have a lot of videos about that but allow that because they're really showing up for us and to really feel united with them so i'll stop babbling on that one and then here we have Clouds are parting now. And this is acknowledging the storms that we've all been through, especially lately. But they're saying the clouds are parting now. And the sun is finally breaking through the clouds now. And a difficult time has ended and moved on. So they're saying the worst is behind or we've really weathered some weathered uh, some storms here and the clouds are parting so they are saying the sun is finally breaking through the clouds now and a difficult time has ended and moved on so there were definitely times that were uh stormy to us in our personal and the world um but the, the light is breaking through uh, difficult times are slowly ending we 
can see the light coming through the clouds. So this could be something very literal in your life or also on the bigger stage, um, what we're seeing going on. And now they're all coming out. We have a quiet angel. I love this card so much. Quiet angel is always sitting nearby, especially in darker times to help comfort you. You are never alone. And that is why I've chose again, why they made me for the first time tell you about the story behind this picture. Um, how it was to me. I felt alone on a street. I felt a wave of love. I looked up and united that you have a quiet angel next to you all the time. We have a lot of angels, but there's you're never alone. And now I have sirens in the background. Um, in dark times, you're not alone. There's quiet angels always sitting nearby, especially in darker times that we find ourselves right now. Um, the darker, the crazy, you're never alone. Even if you can't feel it, that's why they're saying it's a quiet angel. So if you're saying you're not feeling it, you're not getting messages, signs, all of that, to know that in the dark and even without feeling it, there's a quiet, they're calling it a quiet angel. Um, so quiet angel is always sitting nearby, especially in darker times to help comfort you and you're never alone. So you do have angels all around and I have a wave around my body again. Um, that they're bringing home that we're constantly surrounded and they're quiet angels. Um, and especially in these darker times and they're here to comfort us and they're literally, that's the reassurance I've been getting in my messages of the last couple of weeks too. There's a lot of comfort and a lot, a lot of comfort, a lot of reassuring kind of messages and for us to be more comforting and reassuring to ourselves too. And that again, you are never alone. And they really want this to be drummed home that you are never alone, united forever. And here it says here, um, yeah, feel united with them wherever you go. They're always there and will show you signs along the way. So definitely look out for signs. They're really here around to comfort us and to really bring home that you're never alone. This is a quiet angel is standing by. And this came out with it. Ho, ho, ho. And it says money flowing in. And it says money and abundance are heading your way. There's jobs well done and rewards for your efforts are coming in for you. So they want you to know that because a lot of us have been struggling with finances abundance there's been a lot of messages about knowing that there is new abundance coming in rewards for hard work has been showing up in a lot of recent readings of late so if you've been waiting on money or waiting for a, a sense of abundance to coming in it's almost like your angels, the clouds are parting. Whatever was blocking that abundance to you, it's like that's what I feel that um, the blockages are breaking and there's going to be rewards for hard work because that's been coming up in every reading I've been doing for the channel. Um, the energy is of money, abundance, rewards for hard work, um, and all of that. And I almost feel like your angels have helped part the clouds that um, were blocking the flow of money and the flow of abundance. Um, just you know the times that we've been in but they're saying that the clouds are parting now and more abundance rewards for hard work will be coming in now um that's what they're reassuring us and then they're saying for you to go for it um we've been getting this a lot that there's a lot more possible the sky's the limit you like there are no limits here going for it nothing is stopping you right now you have your sights on something and no obstacle will stand in your way you're going for it um, they were even a lot of cards of anything that comes out about obstacles. It's like they're holding your hand through obstacles. They're clearing. Like I said, the clouds are whatever was blocking your flow of abundance, material or otherwise, sense of abundance, you know, abundance in all forms. The clouds are parting. And they were seeing like picture the clouds are the obstacles they're they're clearing the obstacles has been a recurring message they're helping us over obstacles they're clearing the clouds that were um blocking the sense of abundance and flow of money and abundance and rewards for hard work so picture these clouds are parting and you're going for it right as they're breaking the clouds open. We have a lot of divine help here that's clearing clouds, clearing obstacles that were in the path of money flowing in, abundance, rewards for hard work. So keep going for it. Keep your sights on this, that they're parting the clouds. Um, wow. So there's a lot of divine backing, even in the quiet, that you don't see, hear, feel. And on the other side, they're saying you're not forever and you're never alone. And keep your eyes out for signs, symbols, messages. And also follow your divine guidance. Because if it's saying, you know, go through those, the breaks in the clouds and rewards are coming in, you know, follow and trust that. And you could be feeling that or that's what's coming in. 
now they're saying stay grounded uh, we've been getting this a lot to stay balanced and grounded during this time we could also these quiet angels could be really helping us have a wave now oh my gosh of helping us stay grounded um, if you're familiar with my channel a lot of my readings um, there, any card that was about balance and being grounded because the world's energy is overwhelming and scattering at this time. You know, the energy is like this. And they were saying, picture yourself a flower with a stem, stay grounded and rooted and balanced. And I feel like these quiet angels are connection, you know, united forever. And these quiet angels are helping us to stay more grounded, you know, like rooted, you know, if you're a flower, it, we have to stay balanced and grounded during this time. Um, and it says ground yourself take a time out and just ground yourself if you feel you need it all can wait until you do and you will come from a much better place a more grounded place um, this is going on whenever you feel the energy of the world is overwhelming it's static it's too much you take you counteract it and you do the opposite so you calm yourself you balance yourself you have peace you're rooted you're grounded um that's the connection that you have that's helping you to do that during these tumultuous changing times to come through it grounded and rooted uh, you're connected uh, to your core is connected um and rooted and grounded and they've been saying that so it's like you're doing this on your own time it's like paying attention to your energy and being more grounded and balanced and they're helping us to be grounded and balanced through this time and this is just really beautiful so let's see what additional messages are for this that's a recurring message about being grounded and balanced so there is definite, they're helping us with abundance, going for it, clearing clouds and obstacles. And there is, we're surrounded by these angels and loved ones passed on, no doubt about it, with United Forever and Quiet Angel. And so the next one we have is, yeah, they're acknowledging a shattered heart. Wow, talk about the clouds and what was blocking our abundance. Um, there's shattered heart here. Your heart may feel a bit shattered right now, but it's already on the mend and know you can and will recover. Um, so there's a lot, like especially shattered heart, it could have had something to do with our abundance or feeling abundant, um, feeling blocked from what we're going for. I mean, that's what the big stage, little stage, big world, personal lives, we've all been shattered in this time, but it's already on the mend. It's already on the point of healing. They're already parting clouds. They're telling us to continuously go for it and stay grounded during this time. But abundance and rewards for hard work will be coming in the whole time you're forever surrounded by love. Yeah. And that this is what they're saying. Find your sanctuary, your inner peace. Um, that's what they're helping us do with the angels here at the moment. Find your sanctuary. Take some time to be alone and get some downtime for yourself. Look inside for the peace you seek. That's inner peace. So when they're saying be grounded and that peace, clean peace for yourself during this time, um, it's helping to recover from the shattered heart. During this time, as the clouds are parting and you're gonna get rewards for hard work and all of this, but in the meantime, while we're healing, it's a lot of being grounded and claiming inner peace for yourself. Be the peace that you seek during this time. And they want one more. But they're saying the clouds are parting for abundance and rewards for hard work. And in the meantime, you stay grounded. You have your sanctuary. You find your sanctuary. You take time to be the peace that you seek. We're healing shattered hearts. We're getting through the clouds. And again, yeah, because look what this card keeps coming out. That's how they see us. This divine inner beauty. When I said you got to stay grounded and rooted like the flower you are. Um, rooted with that in them and you stay at peace no matter what the frenetic energy is this has come up in every spirit pick me up reading they're looking at us as a, a divine rose um, a divine flower the divinity within you the divine inner beauty of this flower is how they see you um, there is a divine natural beauty to this flower as there is with you remind yourself of that often and of all your natural beauty inside and out that's how they want us to be more nurturing be more in touch with your divinity um, to, to be more nurturing to our shattered hearts that's why we need to claim inner peace and be grounded during this time they're helping us we have quiet angels here that are supporting us and feeling grounded and at peace because they know this has been so hard on our hearts right now, right? They know that. Um, so they're helping us stay grounded and rooted, just like I said, as the flower that you are at peace and grounded, okay? And here they're saying the clouds are parting where abundance and rewards for hard work will be coming in. You keep going for it. Whatever you're doing in the physical, keep going and you're backed. United forever with spirit, loved ones, 
um, spirit unseen and uh, literally unseen and you're never alone and here's quite angel always sitting nearby especially in darker times to help comfort you so they're here surrounding surrounding us to give us a lot of comfort to help us have peace and be grounded and they're assuring us that the clouds are parting and abundance rewards for hard work will be coming in that's a repeating message so that's a real message they wanted to bring forth let's go into uh, real divine self-care, especially with the groundedness and having peace through this time, nursing, you know, the hardships. Um, this is just beautiful. They keep referring to us as this divine inner rose. So real divine self-care, staying grounded and at peace during this time as we go forward and keep going for it. Yeah, yeah. Remain curious, excited, and completely open to all potentials known and unknown. Well, the first thing that comes to me is when they said united and look out for signs, symbols, messages from your angels, loved ones passed on. Um, like I kept on going in the beginning about being receptive and open. But things in your life, projects, passions, things to do. This has been a recurring message as well. During this time, to stay upbeat, to stay curious, to stay excited. It, this came out in the... In the um, a, a quick dose of spirit, uh, a similar card talking about what gets you excited? What are you passionate about? Remain completely open to all potentials known and unknown. I have to say in the weekly spirit reading for this week, we had adjacent possibilities. This is the kind of world and how spirit works. Like we might be play, um, planning for to go through one door, right? But spirit's kicking down all these adjacent possibilities. Um, so remain curious, excited, completely open to all potentials known and unknown. Because they're saying go for it and the sky's the limit, right? So, you know, and they're, cloud, they're parting the clouds. It's bigger from our perspective what's possible. So stay open, curious, excited to all the potentials. This has been a recurring message. There's so much more that's possible. There's so many more adjacent possibilities. Ooh, chat, gosh. Okay. Yeah, have complete faith. All is working out as it should for you in divine timing. Talk about the peace that they're giving us. I have chills again. The inner peace to literally have complete faith. All is working out as it should for you in divine timing. Okay, that's how they want us to be as peace, at peace, like a rose planted, at peace, rooted, grounded, have complete faith. It's all working out as it should for you in divine timing. And yeah, sleep and rest more whenever you need to leave it all for another day. They want us to really be at peace. I can't, I, I, it's so reassuring, I have goosebumps, but anything that is peaceful, a grounded everything that the world is not right now you provide more of that for yourself picture yourself your rose and in your soil as the energies of the world is taking away your peace taking away your groundedness taking away your calmness taking away whatever it is you put more in your soil i know that sounds really weird but that's how they always give me analogies like that you have to provide for yourself water yourself water what you need um give it to yourself right so sleep more rest more this has been a recurring message to be on your own side with that these are not normal times if you need more time to rest recalibrate rejuvenate all of that and i love have complete faith have complete faith always working out as it should for you in divine timing. Let's step into real divine abundance messages because there was saying going for it, clouds parting, and we had literally this money and rewards coming in that they're helping to part the clouds. So let's tap into real divine abundance since they're saying clouds are parting. What can we keep in mind as we continually go for it uh, over the obstacles? In the sky, past the clouds, the clouds are parting so we can go for it and have rewards for hard work. Abundance coming in. They're helping us. What would be, what can we keep in our minds and hearts about real divine abundance? What would help us with real divine abundance? Focus more on all you love right now. Um, this is still in line with that quick dose of spirit I recently did. They were literally saying, focus more on all you love right now. Keep your focus. We also have that card come out about Diana. Uh, focus your intentions, your thoughts, your feelings. Do more of what you love because it waters you. It waters you like the flower you are, right? Um, you have to provide, do more things that you love. Focus more on all you love right now. It's kind of like watering your own soil. It's um, doing more that feeds you. Focus more on all you love right now. 
allow yourself to enjoy more things or different things or what you're really, what gets you excited. Wait a minute. It said, remain curious, excited, and completely open to all the potentials. In the other reading, Quick Dose of Spirit, they were saying, you know, look at what excites you. What are you passionate about? Focus more on what you love right now. It's part of watering you, like as this, I know I keep going back, but it's part of watering who you are, what you're about, right? So do more of what you love and let it water you at this time. So it sounds really weird, but it's a lot of analogies I get um, to plants, to flowers. You're like a rose. Whether you're male or female, you're a flower. <laughs> you're a flower in this analogy, okay? So we gotta pay attention to our soil and focus on more on what, on all you love right now, it feeds you. And it's also you feed yourself and it's an outpouring. And we have, yeah, feel more empowered to create the life you want. There are 90 cards in this deck, right? We've been getting this recurring. To, to feel more empowered to create the life you want. Focus more on what you love and continuously go for it. And this is why they're saying to be more in our power and go for it here. This has been a recurring card that's come out of 90 in back-to-back -back readings practically. Feel more empowered to create the life you want. Go for it. Nothing is stopping you right now. You have your sights set on something. No obstacle will stand in your way. You're going for it. Clouds are parting. They're hoping to part the clouds. There's rewards for hard work coming in here. Literally rewards and abundance. Money and abundance are heading your way. Jobs well done and rewards for your efforts are coming in for you. So there's money and abundance that's being cleared. It's a recurring message. Um, so it is. Um, and feel more empowered to create the life you want. That's what they're saying as well. Let's get some additional. They want us to remain in our power. We kept getting the King of Pentacles, all the court cards. As it's so ironic almost from this for this time. Divine power, be in your power. And truly regard every day as having, again, infinite possibilities that are available to you now. Focus more. Wait, where was the possibilities? Yep, here in this. For the divine self-care, remain curious, excited, and completely open to all potentials, known and unknown. And here, truly regard every day as having infinite possibilities that are available to you now. The divine works in mysterious ways, way beyond our perspective, and way beyond on other levels than we even realize, right? Truly regard every day as almost magical as having infinite possibilities that are available to you right now. And they want you to focus more on all you love right now, and to feel more empowered in your to create the life you want right now and it's you know and that they're they're helping us through the obstacles and the clouds partying and bringing more abundance and rewards for hard work so believe more is possible all these potentials um let's tap into our divine power because i literally are saying feel more empowered to create the life you want so let's get the divine power what we should keep in mind for when it comes to divine power to create the life that we want Focus more on all you love right now and regard every day as having infinite possibilities available to you. Oh gosh, we've got a lot. Okay. You have divine power to always go on with. Yeah. And like why they're saying to go for it, going for it, nothing is stopping you right now. You have your sights on something and no obstacle will stand in your way. You're going for it. And they're saying you always have power to go on with. And below here, they said the clouds are parting. You know, the obstacles are parting from this, okay? You, again, you have divine power to upgrade with now. This is what we're talking about. They're taking us to the next level, that to better, to other possibilities, things we don't even realize. We're upgrading. And you have divine power to be in sync with divine timing. Listen, I mean, you can't make up how these, these, you have divine power to be in sync with divine timing. Have complete faith. All is working out as it should for you in divine timing. Okay, I mean, you can't make it up how um, they are saying. So in our divine power, you have divine power to always go on with when you keep going for your goals, for hard work paying off, to go on, to dig deeper, to rise up again, to be resilient, to run on, literally to go on is, is that what that card means. To upgrade now, to make things better, to have that abundance and money flow back, to have rewards for hard work, right? To keep going, to keep going for it. They're, they're literally reiterating these, these two cards. You keep going for it. It's power to upgrade with now, to bring in that more abundance for your hard work. And you have divine power to be in sync with divine timing. This is all in divine timing. Have complete faith. And that goes back to the peace, the inner peace. 
And it helps with that inner peace to have complete faith. All is working out as it should for you in divine timing. It's all going to be coming in. Let's get a direct divine spirit messages right now because there's a lot of peace here. There is a lot of peace and reassurance that the clouds are parting. Obstacles are parting and there's going to be more rewards for hard work and abundance in all forms coming in. And you have a lot of support and loved ones passed on and angels around. Look for signs, symbols, messages. It's almost like they're infusing us with to feel more empowered in our life, that more is possible. There's more potential. There's more possibilities. Focus more on all you love right now. There's be completely open to all the potentials known and unknown. Um, Okay, so let's get Divine Spirit messages for our Divine Spirit, from Divine Spirit that they want to bring it home. Like, what do they want to bring home to us? Because this is such a reassuring, like, abundance. It's on its way. Trust us. to have inner peace this whole time. Very much in line with, what did they say before? You know, like, trust in the current, you know, like trusting in Divine Timing, have complete faith and... Yeah, surround yourself with positivity, which is why I'm doing this reading. It's so important to stay connected and uplifted and positive. When you stay positive, like spirit pick me up, like I know it sounds very light and like a very light thing to stay, say a spirit pick me up, but it is the most important thing to do because when you pick up your, when your spirit is picked up, the rest follows, right? So constantly surround yourself with positivity because we're ultra, we're, we've gotten even more sensitive, ironically, during this time. It's so important to surround yourself with positivity, uplifting people, situations, things to do, what you're looking at, what you're hearing, what you're looking, you know, all your senses literally surround yourself with positivity and you can tell in your energy when you faltered um i even know when i haven't done a lot of readings on the channel and my energy has shifted like i need these too it's a spirit pick me up it's like the rest follows then you're you're more energetic your thoughts are uplifted your feelings are uplifted you're actually moving you're doing something it's very easy to sink um but surround yourself with positive positivity you have a spirit pick me up the rest follows. It's energy. It's like the rest follows. You get a pick me up, the rest follows. So surround yourself with positivity. That's thing number one. Surround yourself with positivity at this time. You could be a lot more selective also, or really immersing yourself in more. Okay. We have you are in process of growth right now. You have to find power to upgrade with now. You are in process of growth right now. So they're saying, almost like this flower, honestly, that's growing right now in, in this soil, as crazy as it is, because um, we're grounded, we're at peace, and we are going for it. And the clouds are parting. The sun is shining on us literally the sun is shining on us and we had angels all around um this is a recurring message so it's almost like literally i know they give this as an analogy but if you look at yourself as a flower <laughs> it really helps you are in process of growth right now imagine that in the soil that we're in you're going for it rewards and hard work will come in surround yourself with positivity you're in a process of growth and upgrading right now no matter what it looks like um Let's get some more divine spirit messages for our divine spirit. We have two more. We have believe in yourself, which has been a recurring message. Remember, they want us to feel empowered in the physical. Believe in yourself, especially as you are going for it. Um, overcoming obstacles and everything else. Trust the divine is with you with the clouds parting and obstacles. Um, believe in yourself as you go. Be confident. That's been a recurring message. Feel more empowered. And you may want to reconsider that. Interesting. So there may be things that you're reconsidering um, when you're seeing this uh, video. There could be things that you're just going back and forth about. Maybe you're not sure. Um, you may want to reconsider that. There may be some things that you're letting go of at this time. There may be, yeah, there may be things that you're not quite sure of. Let's see. That some things in your life you already know the answer. Okay, so there could be some things right now that you're really reconsidering or go going back and forth on that maybe you're in a, pure, a process of growth right now. You're going for other things things there are a lot, there's a lot to consider and reconsider and you already know the answer is when 
that's my uh, my card for when you're going by your intuition you're divinely connected your own divine connection um just like with these readings whatever you're getting intuitively you take that over whatever anybody else says or card says it's like you already know the answer your divine self is going in a huge process of growth and upgrading right now so there's a lot that you may want to reconsider there may be some things that you're changing up or letting go um because we're all kind of in this state of transition during this time i mean even on the world stage the big stage and but then also within us so within and so without there's a lot we're reconsidering and shuffling around and you already know the answer so as much as we're looking outside of ourselves in the quiet going back grounding finding peace for yourself um there could be things that you're reevaluating. also it's like maybe you don't want to do that anymore maybe you want to try something else maybe you know that kind of thing because in a period of growth and upgrading you let a lot go as well for a new growth and it, you can't make this up go for the new things now yeah so there are some things that are definitely we're letting go of right now and because we're going for the new. I mean, you can't make this up. Go for We had go for it. I'm not going to mess it up all the time. But you have the power of divine power. Oh, I will. Because this is, we're going for new things, right? And the divine is with us because they're, they're parting the clouds and the obstacles for us to go for new things, for new abundance, new abundance coming in. You have divine power to upgrade now with. You are in the process of growth right now. And um then they're saying go for the new things now so that's what we're doing and that's the new abundance that's coming in and rewards for hard work right so what they're saying is in the midst of all of this there are different things that we're going to be reconsidering or we might be letting go of and the whole way they're saying believe in yourself trust in divine timing and trust that these obstacles are being removed clouds are being parted new abundance and um rewards for your hard work is going to be coming through you're going through a huge process of growth and upgrading as this beautiful rose this new growth and blooming which we're all doing because of the times that we're in it's almost like divine soil we're all in um so keep going for it and they want you to believe in yourself there's divinity within you just like a flower they kept on saying remind yourself of that often you know just as a flower grows and blooms that's a natural divinity. That's what's happening to all of us as we're going through this process of growth. Believe in yourself. Go for the new things now. Listen to yourself when there are things to reconsider. Um, but you already know the answer. They're saying trust yourself. Trust yourself. Trust your divinity. Trust your divine connection. Trust the signs, symbols, messages you're getting because you're never alone. You're forever united and um, there's quiet angels all around. So you could be getting signs, symbols, messages, direct guidance, trusting your intuition, feeling truly guided, getting divine ideas has really been coming up, especially with going for the new things now. Um, you can almost feel led, inspired, um, have a thought or um yeah an inspired thought that it's literally inspired it's from spirit it's not something you sat and thought about but it just comes into your mind and uh you're you're off to the races you're off to new trying new things um definitely in the process surround yourself with positivity believe in yourself we're definitely in a process of growth and going for the new things now these are all recurring messages and there's such divine support to have forever united before i end it with pure love i gotta show you forever united and um quiet angels and I almost feel like the quiet angel is saying believe in yourself you already know the answer and united forever the signs and symbols and everything that's supporting us is like yes you're growing go for the new things surround yourself with positivity you're forever united and um these are the spirit that that's so around us right now for this growth and upgrading going for new things it's like they have giving us the confidence the power the um the resiliency um to get back up and to bloom and it's running through us um it's beautiful let's end it with pure love but there's definitely go for the new things now when you're in process of growth look and the flowers right here you're in process of yeah that's what it is and we have their support so let's see pure love from spirit oh my gosh we will send you some miracles they're sending us some miracles they're sending us some miracles. Um, I'm a teary eye right now because um, what they're giving me, I'm going to have to end the reading after this. Um, what they're saying is the clouds are parting now and this abundance, up, this clouds, the obstacles. And we have something about obstacles here. They're helping us. They're sending us some miracles to part the clouds 
the clouds are parting time and difficult time has ended and moved on and then we had something here yeah going for it they're not see these clouds when they say the clouds are parting the sun is coming in here right and it's allowing us again no obstacle will stand in your way you're going for it they're parting all these clouds for us um it's really beautiful. All right, I will pick more, but that just hit me in such a way that I thought I would just not be able to continue because that is so beautiful. That's, you should get goosebumps that they're almost co-creating these miracles or things could just divinely work or all of a sudden an obstacle is being removed or things are getting easier after such a difficult time that it's almost unbelievable. It's like a miracle. Um, they're saying you're not alone in this. Um, so they're, they're parting those clouds so we can keep going forward past the obstacles and have more abundance in all forms, including rewards for hard work. And, you know, all of us have been doing tremendous hard work through this time. And there's tremendous support. And we have, yeah, we will help remove that situation. Yeah, talk about the obstacles. Anything that's standing in your way of having things come in for you. Um, that's what I was getting. It was so uh, overwhelming. I didn't think I could continue. It just hit me in the face like, yes, we know how you feel as I'm describing. It's my, I swear when this came, came out, I was hit. It felt like uh, my, uh, my eyes were getting water. I didn't know if I would be able to see the cards anymore. It was like so smack in my face. We know how you feel. They know how we feel. They know the times that we're in and they know what we need and they know how it feels. They know how we feel in this moment. Um, yeah, we're sending you signs. We're sending you signs. What did I say? You are forever united with those that have passed on and with spirits unseen. Feel united with them wherever you go. They are there and will show you signs along the way. We are sending you signs. And this is why I almost was like, I can't continue. I can't continue because it's so in my face. I hope it's translating. But they're literally showing us signs. I mean, I'm literally showing you a sign through this video. Um, but in your everyday, it's like it is sending you a miracle, you know, in some way that we can receive it, that they're sending us signs and miracles, that they will help remove that situation, those obstacles, so we can keep going for better, for more. We're new. We're growing. Um, we know how you feel. We're sending you signs to comfort you remember they said quiet angel is always sitting nearby especially in darker times to help comfort you you're never alone we're sending you signs we know how you feel this is why i'm doing these readings it's because they do know how we feel that we do need reassurance we do need comfort we do need to feel literally united forever we do need to feel forever united. We do. And we need these signs along the way. So they're definitely sending some miracles. Um, they're helping to remove situations, obstacles, no doubt about it. To keep going for it. To keep nurturing yourself and grounding and staying at peace just like a divine flower. To definitely, you are in process of growth right now. Go for the new things now. And... Um, yeah, just take real divine self-care of yourself has been a recurring message, but you're constantly surrounded. We're sending you some miracles. We will help remove the situation, like the clouds, the obstacles, whatever is in the form of that's blocking your further abundance. Uh, we know how you feel. We're sending you signs. Um, so I would say stay as open as possible and just receive as many signs as, as you possibly can and be reassured and comforted that they're clearing the way for more abundance, I would say, and rewards for hard work because that has been coming up in recurring messages and it is what we all need, abundance in all forms um, at this time. So they know how we feel during this time and know that you have plenty of love and support and probably a lot of signs, symbols, messages trying to get through and they are reassuring you we're sending some miracles goals and we're sending you signs i mean they couldn't be more clear and they know how we feel and we do need help with removing situations or making things better we do and they're they are so uh, um they're definitely telling us to go for the new you're in process of tremendous growth and upgrading and to keep going for it because <laughs> we have go for if i have to end it with what they're saying so go for the new things now go for it nothing is stopping you right now you have your sights on something and no obstacle will stand in your way you're going for it and they're helping to literally clear those clouds i know i'm going all over but i can't believe how clear um it is um so that is it so keep going forward we're sending some miracles help remove the situation the clouds we know how you feel we're sending you signs this has been the spirit pick me up reading take care Bye bye